Hi, my name is Dr. Roy Fidiakon, and I am a general and endocrine surgeon at Massachusetts General Hospital. Approximately one to two weeks after your thyroid operation, your surgeon will contact you with the final pathology results. This length of time is due to the many histology stains and careful analysis of the microscopic sections that your thyroid will require by our pathologists. In general, the results will either be benign or non-cancerous or malignant, which is cancerous. If your final pathology result is malignant or cancerous, your overall stage of disease determines if you are at a low, medium, or high risk of recurrence. The staging is dependent on the extent of your disease, the size of the tumor, the number of lymph nodes involved, and your age. If your final pathology results place you at high risk for recurrence of disease, further therapy such as radioactive iodine may be necessary. This is an oral medication that is given at least six to eight weeks after your operation. It is usually well tolerated and the use of chemotherapy or external beam radiation is rare for thyroid cancer. If your entire thyroid gland is removed during surgery, you will need to start replacement dosages of thyroid hormone. Although physiological thyroid hormone is made up of both T3 and T4, most people do well with just T4 replacement in the form of a pill called levothyroxine. This pill is typically taken once a day in the morning on an empty stomach and is universally available around the world. Hello. I am Giuseppe Barbicino. I am an endocrinologist and I work at the thyroid unit at the Massachusetts General Hospital. After surgical removal of the thyroid cancer, we sometimes consider treatment with radioactive iodine. Normal thyroid cells and some thyroid cancer cells accumulate iodine from the bloodstream. If these cells are fed with iodine that has been made radioactive, they will be killed by it with limited radiation to other body tissues. The first goal is to eliminate any normal thyroid tissue left in the neck. Normal thyroid tissue in the neck may confuse the interpretation of blood tests used to spot recurrences of the cancer. Also, once we give radioiodine, we can track it with a camera using a whole body scan that helps detect any spread or metastasis of the cancer cells. Most importantly, we hope that radioactive iodine will kill any remaining thyroid cancer cell. We recommend radioactive iodine treatment only for patients who are most likely to benefit. For example, those at increased risks for recurrences. Every thyroid cancer patient will need to be monitored for some time after the disease is diagnosed, usually anywhere from 5 to 20 years. During this period, it is important that your thyroid hormone levels be under tight control by your endocrinologist, since low levels of thyroid hormone can lead to recurrences. A recurrence can often be detected by a blood test, thyroglobulin. Most recurrences of thyroid cancer occur in the neck, so neck ultrasound is also recommended. For most patients, these tests can be performed on a yearly basis. Occasionally, in patients at very high risk or with very aggressive cancers, more extensive imaging with CAT scans or PET scans is employed. 95 to 98% of patients with thyroid cancer are still alive 10 to 20 years after the diagnosis. Unfortunately, some exceptions exist, and some thankfully rare forms of thyroid cancers are among the most deadly cancers seen in humans. This is a very active research field and many promising medications for such cases are being studied at the moment.